Good morning, you guys. We had a WebEx upgrade for Mindful Monday and everybody is, I get to see everybody's names, not your faces, but your names. So that's been exciting. So welcome to everybody um, on this Monday morning here where I am. It's a little gloomy outside. It's kind of foggy, but it's a beautiful fall day. And um, as we know in yoga, regardless of the external weather, we can still find our presence uh, through our movement and our breath and our centering practices. So we're gonna do a little bit of that today. So I encourage you to find your most comfortable seat or lying down position. Prop yourself up as needed. I always have a nice blanket underneath my hips just to elevate my hips, which gives me that length in the spine and um, allows me to sit up, having more room for the breath, and just to be more present. So you notice immediately as you um, improve your posture that there's a little bit more brightness, a little bit more presence. I don't know, it's, it's kind of amazing. Like we just make these minor adjustments and chemical reactions happen and physical sensations change so we don't have to do much so once you get um, into your um, chosen starting point for our centering practice just let your eyes close if you want to let your hands rest palms facing up that's sort of a gesture of receptivity and if you'd like to add a mudra, just draw your a simple mudra is um, Gayan mudra, the mudra of wisdom. You can draw your pointer finger to meet your tongue, your tongue, your thumb. <laughs> oh goodness. Good way to start Monday morning. So you make that connection. It's sort of closing the loop here, that little circular shape in your fingers. And just begin by checking in. Start with that body scan. Notice what you brought to your mat this morning. Just getting present to yourself. Begin to notice the natural rise and fall of the breath. Notice the sounds in your space, the weather in your space. Feeling the temperature of the air on your skin. The sensation of the clothes against your body. beginning to tune in to this more subtle realm that we all live in, but we uh, are usually just above the surface of that realm, so we're not paying much attention to it. So let's really get still and notice. And as you're ready, softening the belly, begin to invite a deeper breath, filling up the belly, the ribs, and finally the upper lobes of the lungs, drawing that air all the way up and your chest puffs up and your shoulders roll back. And there's that sensation of fullness. And then release the air wherever it feels most you know, good for your body, through the mouth or the nose, just let it go, but keep it slow. And then notice how it feels to be empty of air, that sense of the belly drawing in, and you're ready, ready for the next one, right? So invite in the next breath, slowly, maybe letting your lips just gently close, drawing the air in through the nostrils, filling up completely. 
And then slowly, maybe the air is released through the nostrils and you can feel that sense of warmth of the air as it releases over your lips. Just letting go completely. Just pausing at the bottom of the breath, letting go, emptying completely. We don't know what's next, so probably another breath, but we just don't know. Fill it up. (laughs) Invite in the next breath as you're ready. Just being really conscious of each breath, that mindfulness that we're cultivating here in this practice every single week together. Excellent. So mindfulness is really hip, right? It's continuing your breath work. Seems like it's a um, a new thing, but it's actually pretty old. Um, it's actually very contemporary and also very ancient. We think about the word contemporary. Um, we think about the word. Uh, being con temp, temp, I guess it means being with the times. Um, like we would be contemporaries if we're about the same age, which I think we, we most of us are, right? We're contemporaries. We think of it as being cool, being hip. Mindfulness is cool right now. Ram Das, the, uh, the 60s, uh, guru who um, became pretty famous for his mindfulness teachings, he coined the phrase, be here now, which is still very popular, very hip. It's hip to be mindful these days. So let me just tell you, uh, now you are, we are cool. We are contemporary. (laughs) We are with it. But so is this presence that is right under the surface that we sometimes miss this. um, Some call it God, some call it higher power, the universe, goddess, whatever you call it, it's always here with us. Good. It's good. Always with us, no matter what the weather, no matter how things are changing. And there is a psalm, Psalm 46, I think it says, Be still and know that I am God. But how, how, how do we be still enough to be conscious, be mindfulness, be hip, (laughs) present to that awareness? Most of the time, I mean, not going to happen all the time, but at least most of the time. Well, we know. Those of us who show up on Monday mornings, we know. We get it. We move with our breath and we do our best to stay present to what is. And then when something feels a little off, we make small minor adjustments, right? So if something in the practice doesn't quite work for you, we adjust as needed. And that's life, right? That's yoga. That's life. That's union with the contemporary, with God, the higher power, the universe. So let's roll with this. When you're ready, let's play with this. Um, We'll take some movements to um, match our breath with our movement. So if you are lying down, Use the strength of your arms to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. And if you've been sitting for a while, switch the cross of your legs so your hips are um, getting equal time here. And then sit up nice and tall. Take those hands in front of the legs and let's take some really hip movements. (laughs) Get it? Taking some hip circles. Sometimes I'm funny and I don't even realize it. I hear all the laughter. So going in whatever direction 
Just take some gentle hip circles, keeping the breath smooth. You can keep your eyes closed here and just kind of feel into your present situation. Noticing what feels good for you and making those minor adjustments as needed. And then switch the direction. So eyes closed, you might not get as dizzy, but if you're starting to feel like you might be a little dizzy, just slow it down even more. Keep the breath nice and smooth, easy breezy. Good. And then we'll take one more circle and then sit up nice and tall. Take your hands right in front of your legs and draw your shoulders up towards your ears and then just loop them back. Take some circles, checking out shoulder mobility this morning. Good. And then on that last little roll, shine your heart forward. Just draw the right shoulder up and let that left shoulder drop down. I see Nancy's here. Hi, Nancy. I was trying to say hi to everyone. Take that left shoulder up to the left ear because we see your names. It's so fun. And lower that left shoulder down. Good. One more right shoulder comes up. And maybe loop it back again and left shoulder. Just taking one little body part at a time, feeling into it, noticing how it's doing this Monday morning. Good. And then sit up nice and tall. Draw that chin somewhat parallel to the earth. Take a big breath in. And as you do, lift your gaze. Puff up your chest. Draw your heart forward. Draw those shoulders back. And then as you're ready, take the chin down to the chest, draw your shoulders forward and bring your belly into your spine. So just forward and back movement here. Inhaling as we lift and exhaling as we round. Good. And take a couple more here. Just moving the spine forward and back, drawing that belly into the spine as you round. Sitting up nice and tall, puffing up the chest as you lift. Let's take one more each way, each direction. And then come to stillness again. And we're gonna take, um, let's start with the right leg and just take the right arm and wrap it around like you're giving yourself a big hug. And take the left hand to your left foot. Just give your right hip just a little um, rock forward and back side to side just noticing how that hip is feeling and if you have a lot more space you can maybe uh, hug it in like you would a baby and look at your leg and give yourself some love you know like talk to it no don't don't do that just rock your hip from side to side and if you're sickling your ankle try not to maybe flex your foot just gentle gentle wake up for the hip here and if you have any hip injuries just modify as needed keeping the breath smooth and slow just so small adjustments all we need to do right that's cool we're cool and then we'll switch legs so decide give your uh, left leg a little hug and decide if you want to you know go for that baby full out baby rock looking down lovingly at your left leg as you did it on the right. Just rocking side to side, forward and back, just readying the hips, the outer thighs. Excellent. And when you're ready, slowly release. Good, bring both feet to the floor. Let's let that go. And take your hands back behind you, fingers facing toward you, just take some gentle um, windshield washers of your legs. Just rocking those hips out from side to side. And then sitting up nice and tall, bring your heels in toward you as much as you can. And then wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a big hug. Sit up nice and tall as you inhale, lift your gaze. And as you exhale, round forward, give yourself that big hug. Good, take two more, inhale. 
and exhale. Last one, inhale. Hugging yourself in a little bit more and exhale round. And then with your feet right in front of you, give your feet a little tap, pink them up a little bit. And then take your right foot, give your right foot a massage. We're gonna really pay attention to this foot for just a moment. And then take each toe, give each toe a little massage. Paying attention. Yeah. And then release that leg forward. Just let it go long and just feel that right foot. Take some ankle circles with this right leg. And point and flex. Excellent. And then just release it down. And then we'll take that left foot, pink it up. We already did that. Take some massage, a little digging your thumbs into your foot, giving yourself a little foot massage. You can um, take your toes and draw them forward and back. And then take each toe individually. Yeah. Get those feet all prepared and then point and flex and circle it out. Point and flex and circle, whichever order feels right for you. Excellent. And then cross your legs again and notice how you feel. Let your eyes close and just notice if you have more room in your hips, your feet are feeling energized ready to go just paying attention mindfulness coolness okay when you're ready we're gonna take our blankets and smooth them out right where our knees would go somewhere in the center of the mat and then take your knees under your hips let the tops of your feet rest on the mat Oh, they feel so good. And then spread your fingers nice and wide. Hands come under the shoulders. And we're in tabletop here. So once you get there, just Sophie, shake it out. Sophie's not allowed in my meditation room here. She's, uh, well, she comes in sometimes. But for the most part, she's just not allowed in here. I don't want the extra vacuuming. <laughs> when you're ready, we're going to drop the belly, lift the gaze. Inhale, and on your exhale, when you're ready, draw the chin to the chest, belly comes to spine, round that spine, press it up toward the ceiling. Move with your breath, finding that cat and cow shape that works for your body this morning. Just moving with the breath, making minor adjustments as we go. Good. Staying with that awareness of what you need in this present moment. And then finding stillness, coming into that still moment <clears throat> finding that alignment of the tailbone to the crown of the head. Just a long line of energy here. Feeling that distribution of weight. So pressing into your hands and your, your knees equally as much as possible. And then when you're ready, we're going to take our uh, left leg and extend it back. And this is fine. You can stay here. Point those toes toward the floor. But if you'd like to add your arm, reach your right arm forward, sending those fingers forward. Notice if your shoulder is drawing forward more than it should. Tuck it back into that shoulder girdle. And then notice if your toes are turning in one direction or the other. See if you can point them more toward the floor. So we're engaging our, our legs. We got our core starting to fire up. And notice what happens to your breath as you are challenged a little bit this morning. See if you can slow down that breath consciously. Keep the breath slow and easy. Good. Take one more breath in. Lift a little higher if you want that. And then slowly lower the right hand down, left knee down. Shake it out. Awesome. 
come to stillness and just notice. Notice that subtle change that just happened. And if you'd like to engage your right leg in that same uh, playful activity, take your right leg, extend it long, point those toes toward the floor, engage that leg, and then reach that left arm forward, fingertips reaching. And then tuck that shoulder back in if it's coming forward. Find that gaze that is just in front of you. So you have that long line from tail to head. Good. Maybe lift a little bit higher. Feeling that energy starting to kick up a notch. Take one more breath in and then slowly release. Bring the right knee down. Do a little Sophie shake. Good. And we'll take a couple of hip circles here. If your knees are starting to cry out, we're going to meet in downward facing dog. So take it. A couple of hip circles in one direction and then the other. Working with the hips today. <clears throat> and then coming back to stillness, fingers spread. Just take your hands and move them just a little bit forward, maybe a couple of inches. Press into those finger pads, tuck your toes, and gently lift your hips. Come up really slowly into your first downward facing dog. Notice how that feels to come up slowly, noticing the legs, all the muscles that get engaged, and drawing the belly into the spine. Rock from side to side, bending your knees, walking your dog. Good. Your hips can go from side to side. Your knees can go from side to side. You can turn it into a dance. If you're really feeling good, you can take a few uh, mountain climbers, but you know, just giving you options. Notice what's going on in your neck. See if you can release tension there. And then find stillness here. So pressing the feet in toward the floor. The heels are gonna be up from the floor most likely. Take a big breath in, relax the back of the neck, pressing into the finger pads, especially the thumb and the pointer finger, and press those heels back toward the floor. Good. One more breath in, remove any blankets that are there, and then take your slow walk to the front of your mat, finding your forward fold. Bring your hands. No, let's do this. Let's take some wrist circles because that was a lot on our wrist. And bend your knees as much as you need to in this forward fold, keeping that lower back safe. And then once your, your wrists are nice and circled out, maybe even massaging them a little bit, take your hands to your elbows and we'll pause here in stillness in ragdoll. Take some breaths here. Reset the breath. Find your presence. No matter whether the world is upside down, we still can come back to our breath. Knowing that presence is always with us. Let's take one more breath in. And as we slowly release the breath, we're just going to roll up one little bicycle link at a time, coming all the way up and taking our arms as we are ready, reaching all the way up and looking up. And then as we exhale, bring your palms together right above your ears. Make that long line. Really frame your ears and notice what happened to your shoulders. See if you can tuck them back in. And then as you're ready, slowly on your exhale, draw your hands down to heart center. Thumbs come to the sternum. And just close your eyes here in this pose. So we've transitioned. We've made a lot of changes in a small period of time. Just notice. Here we are, a stand-in. You think of babies, how they go from zero to one in like no time at all and the difference between that newborn and that first year it's amazing amazing how many changes they go through 
just without <laughs> really having to do anything. It's all the parents that have to do everything, right? That loving presence that's hopefully always there that helps us get from zero to one. It's noticing those subtle adjustments that we're unconsciously making, right? Take another big breath in, blink open your eyes, and sink your hips back, and come into chair pose. So chair pose, um, yeah, chair pose starts to engage a little bit more of the big muscles. So we're noticing the glutes, the quads, the hips. So lift and spread your toes, and then press your toes back into the earth and sink down a little bit more. Good. And staying here, bring your hands down to your heart first, because I have a shelf right in front of me. That's not good. And take your right arm back behind you and send your left arm forward in this chair pose. So coming into a little bit of a twist here. Opening up the chest on the right side, that right shoulder opening up. And then close it back up and send that left arm back and the right arm forward, keeping your knees tracking forward, keeping those legs engaged, breath steady, good. One more breath in, and on your exhale, take that left arm to meet the right, draw the hands back into the heart, and we'll take our forward fold, just forward folding, keeping the knees bent as much as needed. Inhale, come to your halfway lift from here. Draw the shoulders back away. And exhale, take your hands down to the mat. Step your right leg far back to the back of the mat. <clears throat> Good. Find that um, long stretch here for this right leg. Rock forward and back until you feel satisfied. And then finding stillness here, we're going to try to press equally into the left foot as to the right ball of that right foot. We're going to come up to our fingertips and just notice. So blocks are good here if you have them, but fingertips if you can. So notice that little quivering in the left leg. Yeah, we're starting to engage the big muscles in the legs. And when you're ready, rise up to a high lunge and then open up warrior two. So that back foot spins to flat, the left foot is pressing forward and here we are in this warrior two gazing out over our left fingertips our right arm is extended out from that right shoulder it's a beautiful really strong pose so see if you can be present coming back to your breath in this warrior two pose noticing all the little subtle adjustments your body is making to stay here We'll be here for one more breath. And exhale it out. And on your next inhale, flip your palms up. Straighten your left leg. Look up as you reach your arms up and let them touch above your head. And on your exhale, sink back down. Good. We'll take two more. Inhale, reach up. Palms touch, look up. Straighten that leg. Exhale. Good, one more. Scooping up all the goodness and exhale like you're sending it back down to the world. Good job. All right, here we are. Take that left palm, right palms facing down, lift it up to the sky, reaching up and lean back. Find your reverse. Maybe reach your right arm up for your left wrist for sky archer and lean. Stretches in the left side body. Feet are pressing as equally as you can into the earth, just so distributing the weight really is what it is. So the four sides of the feet are doing equal amounts of work. Good. One more big breath in. And as you exhale, we'll come down. We'll spin that right foot down so, so it's facing forward, coming into our low lunge. <clears throat> And then take your hands to the mat. You guys got this, you're strong. Take the left leg back to meet the right. We'll come into downward facing dog. So just take a couple of breaths here. Come up on your toes and lower them down on your exhale. 
stretching the feet. We've already given our feet some love. And then find some stillness here, good. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out. And let's play on the other side. So when you're ready, you can bend your knees. Some people like to hop to the front of their mat. We're gonna take a walk, or if you'd like to hop, bend your knees, look forward, take a little bunny hop. It's just fun. When you get there, find your forward fold. Fingertips to the floor or blocks. Good, take a big breath in. Nice long exhalation. And then on your next inhale, come up to that halfway lift. Draw the shoulders back away from the ears. And on your exhale, refold. Bend your knees, root to rise. Inhale, scoop up that goodness, reaching up. And then exhale, let's sit down directly into our chair pose. Good. Framing the ears. Good. Sinking down a little bit more. Lift and spread the toes and recommit to that chair pose. And as you're ready, we're going to draw that left arm back, right arm forward, taking our twist. Good. Take a, a nice full breath here. And then exhale, switch sides. So take the right arm back and the left arm. Keeping those knees forward as much as you can, sinking down in your chair as much as you can. Good, starting to feel those calves, it's all good. On your exhale, come back into your chair and then forward fold, good. Inhale, come into your halfway lift and exhale, fold. Take your fingertips to the floor, step back into that high lunge, stepping that left leg back. Good, rock forward and back so you can really get the nice stretch in this low lunge. Good. Breath in, breath out. And think about that warrior too. So we're gonna rise up, coming up into our high lunge and then open right up into that warrior too. So think about that right foot tracking forward and the left foot spins flat at an angle. Right knee is right over that right ankle as much as possible. And sometimes that right knee, the knee will want to track inward toward the big toe. See if you can think about it tracking a little more toward the pinky toe. Good. You feel that nice stretch. Good. One more breath in as you gaze over your right fingertips. And then as you inhale, flip your palms, straighten your right leg, look up. Let the palms touch overhead. As you exhale, sink back down. Good. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Excellent work. Flip that right palm, left palm faces down. Lift it up, reverse. And maybe take that left arm up to the right wrist. Lean back, Sky Archer. Intense stretch, but so fun. Feels good, right? Keeping that right knee tracking toward the big toe and the right foot. Take another breath in, good. And exhale. We'll take our hands to the mat, spinning that left foot forward. Step back, downward facing dog. <clears throat> awesome. Come up on the toes a couple of times, stretching the feet. And then find stillness in your down dog. Shaking your head out. Good. Excellent. When you're ready, blink open your eyes. Step or hop to the front of your mat. We'll meet in forward fold. Take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Your feet are about hip width, you know that, right? Bend your knees as much as you need to. And forward fold, draw your elbows out. We'll get that stretch of the hamstrings. Maybe your legs come a little bit straighter. Shake your head yes, and shake your head no. And take a moment to find some stillness here. 
inviting in that awareness of your own presence that presence that's always there you just have to get still good <clears throat> when you're ready inhale come to your halfway lift draw your shoulders back and away exhale fold release the head bend your knees root to rise inhale as you reach up for all the goodness then exhale draw your hands down to heart center and let your eyes close pausing in mountain pose here pressing your thumbs into your sternum lifting your toes spreading them nice and wide and then recommitting to this presence here imagining your growing roots into the ground really present really grounded the crown of the head lifting toward the sky that long line of energy from root to tip breathing in and breathing out when you're ready we're going to come into our tree pose you can stay right where you are wherever you are you probably don't want to look at me anyway find something right in front of you that is not moving for your drishti look down at your feet lift and spread your toes and see if your feet are about hip width apart and then commit to that rooting imagine you are growing deep roots deep roots and then when you're ready bring your weight into your left foot we'll start with the left side and so we can just externally rotate this right leg with our nice open hips bringing our right heel to the inside of that left ankle we can do that or we can reach down and hoist that leg up to the left inner thigh and press equally into that thigh as you press the thigh into that foot Finding your tree pose, doesn't matter which one you choose, just commit to it. Find that balance, and if you need a wall or a chair or something to hold on to today, go for it. Grow your branches, extending them outward or upward, wherever you feel so inspired. Good. Gazing at that drishti that immovable object good if you feel you have some dead leaves to release to let go of shake them out bring your hands to heart center and then bring that knee forward let's see if we can stand here for just a moment circling out that ankle finding stillness here excellent oh my goodness that was so good Shake out your hips, Sophie, shake it out. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's see what happens. The other side, totally a different story, right? Never the same. Lift and spread your toes. Root yourself. Stand up tall and proud. Find that mountain pose. Bring your weight into the right leg and decide. Heel to ankle or bring it all the way up keeping that leg away from the knee we never want to press into our knee joint but whatever you do press ankle into leg leg into ankle sometimes the pants the uh, yoga pants are a bit slippery work with it right keep your breath smooth we have control over that grow your branches Staying in this present moment with whatever happens, making minor adjustments. Drop your leaves. Good. Come back to center. Let's take that leg forward. See, if, see what we can do. Circle out the ankle and find some stillness before we slowly lower it down. Ha! Ah, nice. Just take a moment here. Let's take a moment in mountain pose. Eyes closed, palms facing forward. 
Nice big breath in. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's forward fold. Good. Inhale, come to your halfway lift. And exhale, we're just gonna slowly make our way down to our mat, whatever way works for you. Just take one hip down and take whatever hip landed on the mat, take that same leg and bring the heel in toward the opposite hip and cross um, the other leg over. So that foot comes across the knee. Give yourself a nice big hug. We'll take a deep twist here, pressing um, the hand into the floor behind our hip and giving yourself a twist over that shoulder. Whichever side works for you, we're gonna even it out. So, so twist from the rib cage. Turning on your breath. Inhaling, we lift and lengthen, and exhaling, we take our twist gently. Detoxifying, wringing out those organs, all the good things. Take one more breath, breath slow and smooth. And on your exhale, we'll switch it out. So just switch sides. And if it doesn't work for you to bend that knee, you can always extend your leg out forward. <clears throat> Just find your hug, take your hand behind you. Oh my goodness, time goes so quickly here in the present moment. <laughs> Let's take a couple of breaths together here in this twist. That is what happens, right? We lose track of time when we are in the flow. But notice what's going on in your body here. Stay with it. in whatever time we have that's a song from children of eden i love that song one more breath in and as you slowly unwind we're going to just take this leg lift it up and come to laying down whichever way works for you whichever direction you feel so inclined to point to. And then once you get there, hug your knees into your chest. Take a nice big breath in and then let your legs extend long. Take a full body stretch. Reach your fingertips way overhead, engage your legs, stretch. And take a little back bend here. So we're gonna um, just arch the back ever so slightly. Take a big breath in, and on your exhalation, just let the leg, let the lower back descend toward the floor. And just relax down. Let's hug the left leg in. Just notice rocking it side to side. Notice how your hips are feeling here. And then really hug it in toward that left shoulder. Take a big breath, full breath. And on your exhalation, we'll take that leg across the body, just guiding it gently with the right hand. And then let that left arm open up, extend out. <clears throat> and then with all the spaciousness in the chest, just let that left shoulder relax on the floor. Turn your head in that general direction. And just notice where you might be resisting and see if you can make a minor adjustment just slowly just making some adjustment that allows you to resist the change we've created in the shape of the body so breath works One more full breath in. And on your exhalation, slowly come back. Hug that left knee in. Bring your nose toward that left knee. And then extend it long. Get long. And then take your right knee. Right knee. Yes, I was right. Hug it into your right shoulder. Maybe rock it side to side, noticing how this is feeling. Good. Find some stillness. 
and then gently guide that right knee across the body open up with that right arm maybe apply just some gentle encouragement with this left hand to this um, right quadricep just encouraging it to let go and turn your gaze toward the right arm palm facing up now just breathe here notice that the left hip is not surrendering see if you can encourage it to just let go it's safe safe to do so right breathe in breathe out take one more full breath in one more nice long exhalation and then slowly make your way back to your back hug that right knee in bring the nose toward the knee and release that leg long <clears throat> we'll take one more hug into the chest and send your feet up toward the sky for a shoulder stand a modified shoulder stand now there's another way to do a shoulder stand I don't typically teach it but some people really like it it's good for the thyroid it's good for the throat chakra it can put a little pressure on your neck um, so one thing you want to remember is never to turn your neck like this in one direction or the other you keep looking toward the ceiling so I'll cue this if you'd like to try a shoulder stand you just hoist your hips up toward the sky and send your legs up there once you get there you kind of flaunt so it's a like a flex and a point at the same time and your chin is right really right on your chest so gazing upward not back so you you are completely good to stay with that original shoulder stand legs up high above your heart so good for us so good for us but if you're in this shoulder standing you'd like to come with me to take your legs into plow they just kind of go overhead your toes track toward the floor if your toes actually reach the floor you can take your hands and clasp them on the floor mine don't so I'm not going to do that and I'm not going to turn my neck in either direction definitely don't look at me take another breath in and if you're in shoulder stand you can or in supported shoulder stand you can slowly begin to come down if you're in um, your shoulder stand your traditional shoulder stand you can draw your knees in towards your ears this is called deaf yogi I guess because your knees are blocking your ears but mine never really do and then you gently slowly come all the way down release your legs long again we'll all take a fish pose which is the counter pose so we take our hands press them into the floor underneath our hips come up on your elbows and take the crown of your head and look back so you have this little gentle arch in your back your toes are pointed and we breathe here take one more breath in and as you exhale slowly bring the back of your head to the floor Bend your knees as much as you need to, to readjust and set yourself up for your Shavasana. Blankets, if you're chilly. You can even take a blanket and place it right on your belly. That's super comfy, comforting. And let your legs come nice and wide. Let your arms reach out. Take up space here. Let your palms be face up again in that gesture of receptivity. Open. Open to what is. Let your eyes close. And let yourself just let this practice integrate. Nothing to do. Just be.
This is from Nan Merrill. She has rewritten some of the, the Psalms, um, and this is Psalm 46, part of it. She writes, Come behold the works of the Beloved. How love does reign even in humanity's desolation. For the Beloved yearns for wars to cease, shining light into fearful hearts, loving even those who oppress the weak, remaining hearts of steel. Be still and know that I am love. Awaken, befriend justice and mercy. Do you not know you bear my love? Who among you will respond? O oh, blessed one, you know all hearts. You are ever with us. May love ever guide our lives. Begin to deepen the breath. Bring small movements to fingers and toes and turn your head from side to side. And as you're ready, roll to one side and just curl up, pausing to notice. When you're ready, using the strength of your arms, draw yourself up to a comfortable seat, propping yourself up as needed. Finding that length in the spine, that posture that opens us to all possibility. And when you're ready, lift your arms up, take your gaze up, reach up for all the goodness. Draw it down into your heart. Let your chin come down to your chest. Bow to your own presence. Then send a prayer out into the world, something positive. Lord knows we need it. Thank you so much for showing up to practice. This Monday uh, ritual is so precious. And I'm grateful for all of you. Namaste. Thank you. I just want to mention before everyone leaves that um